Welcome to my channel Aligning With My Soul. Today I'm going to do a masculine reading, the ma um, messages the masculine would say to Divine Feminine and just to see how his energy is at the moment. Um, the last few readings I've been doing, it's been very encouraging with the Divine Masculine. So today I thought I'd do something that's slightly different. I haven't done it before, but I thought I'd do a pick a deck. So if you're um, drawn to one of these sets, there's three, there's one, two and three. So whatever one you're drawn to, pick a deck and um, we'll put the timings of when each one starts so you can click on it straight away and if you want to listen to all of them that's fine as well and obviously just take what resonates to you if the message isn't for you today or you're not ready to hear the message today just click off and don't worry about it um, it obviously wasn't for you today I'll be using the term Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine just um, so you understand what I'm talking about. I know it's only energy and the person that's probably watching is the positive polarity um, because that's the con you're the conscious one that's um, watching so that's generally what happens. So first of all I'm going to do deck one which is this one. So I'll put these to a side for a minute. Okay, let's see what Divine Masculine's up to. What he wants you to know if you picked deck one. Okay, so you've got the Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Cups, which is really lovely cards. And then you've got Go For It, Romance Angels are healing you, and Peace. So they, they're looking really, this deck is looking really positive. So with the Seven of Swords, he um, he could be gathering um, confidence and making some kind of plan, trying to get the courage to make plans. Um, so yeah, gathering his confidence, um, getting closer to union with himself, working on himself. He could be putting some he could be putting some kind of strategy together, or. Yeah, so that is very, and it's a very hopeful card as well. So there's a lot of hope and attempt to actually do something. So that's really encouraging. And then you've got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, so he's feeling a little bit insecure about what he knows that he, you know, that, that he's got to work on. Um, this attempt that he wants to take so he could be feeling a bit insecure but he's got the vision and he has got this uh, particular masculine he's got wisdom and um, he knows that he's capable of success and capable for the success with his divine feminine and as you've got the ten of cups here which is his vision is the glory you know at the end he can see him, himself with his Divine feminine and there's children and he's sharing it to the world to the community He's proud and um, it's a victory he's celebrating so And he wants to be able to do that celebrate this love of their love that they have um, With everybody in the world and so he's definitely got the vision of this happening So he's getting closer I would say and after the last few readings I've done do I must another readings is he's um but he is building up this courage to actually come forward so this is beautiful and then you've got here the oracle card saying go for it i'll read it to you so um go for it your prayers and positive ex expectations have been heard and answered you've been we've been working with you on this situation since genesis and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved stay on your present path and it will take you very far indeed so yeah God Spirit is saying to him, go for it, go for it, because you know that this is going to be your glory, this is going to be fabulous at the end of it, so just go for it, and get your confidence together, and um, your plan together, um, and put your insecurities, and just focus on your vision of this happening, so it's Spirit and God is saying, go for it, and then you've got the Romance Angels are healing you, which is a beautiful card. So the prayer says, Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make helpful 
life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognise each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve in truly an intimate relationship. This is beautiful. This is so, so very positive because with spirit and God is saying we're looking over you and um, feel gratitude for the, that you've come across your Divine Feminine and go for it with her. And yeah, and he's feeling, I would say he's feeling the gratitude of it um, because he's in a very soft, I would say, energy and yeah, he's actually focused on what he wants and he's just feeling, he's just got to gather his confidence. So this is a beautiful card. Um, so he's been looked after from God and Spirit and they're trying to, they're with him at the moment to help him have the confidence to come forward to have this beautiful relationship he's got with his Divine Feminine. And then you've got peace. So yeah, I said that he was feeling uh, calm and stuff. So Archangel Chamuel, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So just go with the love. Go with what you feel. Love is always the answer. So the, this is a really beautiful reading. So if you pick deck one, you must be feeling elated because this is so positive and it's just showing that it's getting closer and closer and you're doing your work because you're doing your spiritual journey and you're ascending and this is what it's all about because when you become whole, that is when you attract your um, divine masculine. So, well done. And now I'm going to do my little p p uh, thing with the pots that I do that I really enjoy doing. So, this is about where his energy is at and how he's feeling. So, I tip pick two from here and then I get a message what he would like to say to his divine feminine. So, oh, so he, he's feeling very sexual at the moment. Sexual energy. And this is, oh, th there's two that's actually fallen out, so I'll read that one as well. Goddess, he's feeling sexual energy f for his goddess. Let's see, and believe. So he's he believe he believes that he knows that he's his that you're his goddess and he's being having sexual energy maybe towards her so that is so beautiful and um i'm going to get a message now from what he would like to actually say i miss you more than words can say oh that's beautiful he misses you I mean, he's definitely in a very uh, gentle energy at the moment, a loving energy. God is with him and he's been guided to be himself. Yeah, be truthful. I don't feel good enough. I don't feel good enough. So he's, with the confidence things, he needs to build his, good, his confidence up because he doesn't feel good enough. So those are things that are sort of hindering him as well. But... Beautiful, beautiful messages, beautiful energy. So, um, well done, Deck One, for all the work that you're doing because all of your energy goes to him, your Divine Masculine, the negative polarity. So, well done, guys. So, let's tie this up. Let's put these to the side. And then I'll go on to do Deck Two. Right, this is for people, Deck Two. Let's see what your Divine Masculine's wanting to say or how his energy is. Page of Cups, King of Cups in reverse, the Hermit in reverse. We've got play, sensitivity and send more time spend more time out outdoors. So let's move those down so you can see them a bit better. Right, so you've got the Page of Cups. So his energy is sort of daydreamy. Um, yeah, ref reflecting on things and, you know, daydreaming about communicating in some way. It could be some kind of message or just 
you know, um, it's about thinking about it, daydreaming, what he wants to do um, in some way of communicating. This is quite a calm energy as well. So I would, I would say that generally the masculines are in the, you know, even in deck one we picked up that he's in a calm, gentle energy. Um, so yeah, I think he's spending a lot of time daydreaming um, and thinking about things, reflecting about um, things, you know, th about what happened in the past with his Divine Feminine, what he wants to happen, how he wants to communicate in some way, and just staying in the calm energy, so that's good. And then you've got the King of Cups here, so he could be feeling quite emotional, you know, um, sensitive. I pick up that this person could be, with this card as well, he could be quite immature, much younger. Um, with the emotional side of things as well, be careful about the emotional side because he's he could be um, quite an, a manipulative person as well. When he's feeling emotional, he could be you know manipulative. So if he did come forward with a message, just be wary that he's feeling emotional. So he could be manipulative. Um, um, only if that resonates to you. This is just you know I'm just what I'm picking up here. Um, so he's feeling the loss as well. That's why he's feeling emotional. Um, so just be careful. Um, and just obviously take that, what I've said, what, you know, if it resonates to you. Um, and then you've got the Hermit in reverse. So he's spending time in isolation, feeling lonely, loneliness, and really feeling scared. Of rejection and this is why he's feeling emotional because he's frightened that the divine feminine is going to reject him um, from past mistakes um, and really I would say that he needs to work on what you know he's in a strength because he, he's ignoring it really because this is why he's having all this doubt and how he's feeling emotional um, not thinking straight really because that's when you can come when you're not thinking straight you can become a bit manipulative and when you're emotional um so because the ego takes over so yeah he's he needs to not ignore his inner strength so let's see what the oracle cards come up and say it says play beloved one it's time to set aside work for a while don't worry we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion playfulness and laughter will lift your energy so that you will return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy so he needs to lighten up a bit and have some time out and do things that he enjoys and have some fun um in a, you know not necessarily um being stupid and going out and stuff like that but just to be, do this the simple things in life um just be in a playful more mood, not so serious. So, um, and yes, you've got the sensitivity card here. So as I said, I've picked up, you know, he's feeling emotional. So he's the sensitivity, um, Archangel Haniel, you're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honour yourself and your feelings. So yeah, so he needs to honour himself and play and um, lighten up a bit. And um, that will help his emotions and things and um then you've got here spend more time outdoors so he needs to go outside and just be a bit more playful and spend time in nature when you're out in nature you just feel like you can think um better and it refreshes you and it motivates you so the prayer is thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me to relax enjoy connection with nature yeah so he needs to go outside and spend some time and chill out really and be playful and um, this will help with the sensitivity that he's got at the moment and the emotions that he's feeling. So now for deck two we're going to do his what energy he's feeling and where he's at really and then the message that he'd like to say to the viewer that's watching his Divine Feminine. Oh, I picked two up already. Commitment. He wants commitment with you. 
and he wants to communicate. So I said about communication, I can't believe how all this um, matches up with each other and how it resonates with all the other cards. What message would he like to give you? Viewer, what message would your divine mother like to give you? I'm scared to come forward and be honest with you. Yeah, he's in that energy of being scared and uh, he needs to get his confidence up and get off this, um, he's very sensitive at the moment. Let's have a look, what else would he like to say to his Divine Feminine? God. I'm sorry for hurting you. Yeah, he's sorry. You can, this, it's just amazing how, what Spirit God, how it's, it's just, amazing how this all comes across and it unfolds as you're going along with these cards of how he's feeling and it's absolutely accurate because he's feeling emotional and he's sorry for hurting you he must you know if you've been if obviously if it doesn't resonate with you don't worry but he's really feeling sorry that he's hurt you with something that's happened and he's scared to come forward and be honest so yeah, he's feeling a bit emotional, his energy at the moment in deck two. So, um, but it's good because all this stuff is coming up that he needs to deal with, all these different things, he's healing. So again, if you did pick deck two, it's good because you're doing your work and you're bringing things up. You could be experiencing stuff and then the energy is sent to him. So, um, I wouldn't be downhearted with that. I would think that I would take the positive for him and say, think to yourself that it, he's actually dealing with this, these emotions, and he is in a calm, gentle um, energy. So I would still, I still get the feel and the energy that he, he's in a loving energy, and um, he's really contemplating and thinking about things and trying to put things behind him so he can come forward so okay right let's put those aside and then I'm going to go on to deck three king of pentacles in reverse six of swords and king of swords in reverse let go of your past you are safe and shield yourself so right with the first card with the king of pentacles he could be indulging maybe um indulging on too much of maybe alcohol or something like that um very doubtful fearful he's wanting the courage again courage comes up a lot at the moment with the masculine so um, he's wanting that courage um Feeling a bit weak, um, his energy, um, but he's definitely wanting the courage, and um, but maybe he's overindulging a bit because he's trying to build the courage up and he's trying to block it. Maybe he's like I said, going out drinking too much or doing something over the top, so overthinking, you know, anything like that. Um, so he's he's weak. So he needs to have a bit more discipline and put a stop to that. But then you've got a positive card here because it's transition. That's a transition. So he's moving away from that. Um, he's leaving that behind because he wants to move forwards. As you can see, the man in the boat, they're moving away from this bad energy. Um, and leaving it behind. So And it could be travel, you know, moving towards his feminine um or traveling or yeah so that's what that card is it's just moving forwards leaving things behind so that's really positive um and then you've got the king of swords in reverse which is it can be a, a very manipulative energy um maybe he's got manipulative energy that's around him if you resonate with that um people that are around him he's been Maybe they're being fake, or he's being fake and harsh with the people that are around him. Um, 
so he needs to slow down and just listen to his intuition he needs to move away you know here he's moving away from being indulgent or whatever but there must be somebody or he's in a manipulative energy so if he does come towards you in this manipulative energy just be very careful um because it's very harsh energy as well fake so um he's moving away from being from something um and he could be in the energy of people that are being manipulative or he could be being in a manipulative energy himself for, for people that are around him that aren't serving him and being fake or harsh um, because he's wanting courage and he's fed up with the situation he's in and his weakness. Basically, again, he needs to listen to his inner self and... Um, deal with this situation that he's in and with love because love is always the answer um, and resolves everything if you can forgive and love people and then you'll move on like he is here from this indulging and um, wanting courage so just take it how it resonates to you um, it might not make any sense but this card is manipulative so it could be with the energy, like I said, that's around him or his energy. Um, so now I'm going to go to let your past go. So yeah, he's de he is dealing with stuff that he needs to let go of. The burden of caring about your past has made you very weary, dear one. It's time to set the burdens down. Keep only the lessons and the love and, the, and like I just said, love solves everything. And leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and now it's gone. So he's definitely got to let go of something. He's passed um, and he definitely wants to. So you just got to be in a better energy of love and not faking it. Just be honest really with his energy and you know and not be harsh or just actually give in and be sad and weak if you're feeling it. Just feel it and accept it, like I've said before. Okay, so now you've got the card, you are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against low, lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones and your home. So yeah, there must be some, I would say that he's been, he's surrounded by manipulative people at the moment. Um, that makes sense more to me because he's feeling weak you know he's showing weakness and he's wanting to have courage and he's feeling fearful so and he's got the past he's got to let go of the past and um archangel michael wants him to know that he's safe and that he's been protected from these people at the moment that are being harsh and then again this all um comes together again because it says shield yourself I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, my home, with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. So, yeah, he's de this definitely makes more sense with this card now. It's not him being manipulative. It's the energy he's around because he's being shielded. My Archangel Michael's there protecting him. But something's going on where... He's not in a very good energy. People around him have been harsh or fake and he's feeling weak in this situation. I'm going to do some messages of his energy now, where he's at, and I'm going to get a message of what he would like to say his, to his Divine Feminine too. So let's see if this matches up of what his energy is. Let's get one. I usually get two, so... Marriage. So he's wanting marriage with his divine feminine and um he's wanting the courage like we said about coming forwards and all of those exciting thoughts that he wants you know some you get the doubtful thoughts and um this is where he is there divorce so yeah that could how funny is that he's thinking about marriage but there's divorce, or that he knew he needs to. <laughs> How funny is that that it's divorce as well? 
So this, he could be, you know, needing to get away, you know, from somebody that's, he could be married or, um, so he's, you know, could be getting divorced or thinking about divorce. Um, and because the marriage card, has, I mean, not the card, the marriage um, has come out, there's something going on maybe with marriage and he's wanting a divorce. Um, or he could be thinking about marriage with his divine feminine, but he needs to do divorce first of whatever situation he is. He just divorce. He needs to just come away and separate himself from this manipulative energy that is surrounding him at the moment. So, what is the message for divine feminine from the masculine of deck three? It was me, not you. So if that resonates to you, if there was any upset in the past or um, arguments or things that went wrong between you, he's saying it was him, not you. So that's what he wants you to know. And I want to make love to you. So that's beautiful. Again, if this is a very, I would say, Calm, because he's he is in in the all three decks of in the calm, gentle energy, and um, he's definitely in like the transition of moving away from things that aren't serving him. But he's having problems here with this manipulative energy that's around him, and what I'm picking up is is definitely not his energy by all the other cards that have come out because it makes sense. Um, so he could be having some problems with family or the relationship he's already in if he's in that if that resonates with you so but he wants to make love to you and he wants you to know that it's not you it wasn't you it was him so um I would still feel positive about that reading deck three if you chose deck three because again he's still dealing it's still healing still stuff that's coming up that he needs to deal with so he can feel whole so you can be in union together that you both are so you must be doing a good job as well because your energy goes to him because you're the positive polarity so well done and keep going keep going on your spiritual journey because that is what it's all about it's not just about this physical person that you're thinking about it's you um, and this person is you because it's your other self because it's your soul. So to keep doing the good work and focusing on yourself and your spiritual journey and that energy will be sent to him anyway. So um, well done guys. I hope you've enjoyed the reading today, all of the different, the three different readings. Um, I think it's all very exciting, very positive. Things are shifting big time. A lot of healing's been going on, and um, if you are wanting to attract your twin flame back to you, your divine masculine, um, I did a video that could help you, um, giving you tools that will help you attract him back to you, or even if you don't want to attract him back to you, just to feel better in yourself. So we'll put an i card. I'll put an i card here in the video, so you can click on that if you um, are finding things really hard and you're struggling. And you're wanting to attract your twin flame back to you. So, um, thank you so much for watching. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. And I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.